The oldest fossils of human-like creatures over 3 million years before 1950 were dug in South Africa and announcement was on uh, 9 December 1998, proving that human-like creatures roamed in Africa during those many, many million of years ago. They were dated between 3.2 and 3.5 million years old by the Geomagnetism Laboratory at the University of Liverpool, thus making them the oldest fossils uh, so far. First, we would like to pronounce that we do not follow or believe in evolution. The Republic of South Africa has four major ethnic groups, namely the Nguni, who comprises of the Kosa, the Zulu, the Bele and Swazi, the Soto, the Shangani, Tsonga and Venda. There are numerous other subgroups within uh, these. Which one is from the oldest species of over 3 million years ago? Why is there disunity amongst all these tribes? Let us share some crucial mission links amongst the seven top tribes in South Africa. Showing here a photograph of a Basarwa or Bushman art painting on display at the Iziko Museum in Cape Town from the Drakensberg in Lesotho. It is believed to depict the Nguni or Soto warriors. There you can see them holding a shield moving southwards and settling in the summer rainfall regions of Southern Africa within the last 2,000 years. So we have moved from 3.2, 3.5 million years to 2,000 years ago. You can see that uh, image from this uh, website that is shown uh, there. Where did the Bantus come from? We show here the family tree of South African's nine major African tribes. They tell us they came from, uh, from the uh, Congo, Niger Congo region and moved like that. Probably that is very correct and true, but that's half uh, the story. And we are also told that they came from between the two Nile rivers there. That's probably very correct, but also that's also part of half of the story. So you can see the, the uh, tribes here that they become the southern Bantu Makua. That's very important because that's an ancestor of all the Ngunis. And then you got the Nguni Tsonga and Soto Makua Venda. And you got Nguni, and under the Nguni you got Siskwati, Isikosa, Isizulu, Isindebele. Then you have got the Twa, or Ronga, or Tonga, where the Ndawus, the Shangans, the Ndwandwes come from. Then you have got the Soto Makua Venda, which is the Soto Tswana, as a Soto, the Soto Se Laboa, the Tswana, and the Venda. And all these are, can easily be seen here. These are the Venda, uh, the Soto Tswana, and these are the part of the Ngunis and part of the Ngunis here, but this is the Tsonga line. That's how, uh, what we know. That's uh, scholars normally depict one movement. They don't show a number of migration, but in his book, The Restatement of the Bantu Origin and Meru History, the Kenyan scholar Alfred M. Imyamara provides the evidence for a southerly migration from Egypt of the Bantu people, but that would be probably during the beginning of the loss of our empire. So that's what we want uh, to show here. The Anu, which is the oldest name, which is connected to the Ntu or Bantu. You shall see when we develop this as we go in that these words are critical and important for every Negro, Black, Melaninated person on earth. No matter what you want to tell me today that you are Hebrew, Israelite, that you are American, that you are indigenous somewhere, you are a Mtu, you are a Bantu, because we have gone through many exoduses. So this is where we deal with now from this uh, Kamaati Fekas Yaman's work where we see that from Marua, a place called Marua. So they moved into Ethiopia, moved to Kenya, moved via Central Africa, and the Sam, as we know, moved to the uh, uh, West Africa, the Benua, where there was a concentration, and probably then those the migrations that you see now coming into Southern Africa. There you are, we see the movement here again, the Kasai, the Meyue, the major rivers here, other movement upwards. This could have been the earliest movement original movement or many of the movements all over around africa and there are many others out of africa so we have had many exoduses this the most popular tribe in south africa are the zulus and there is a zulu kamalandela a book founders and first chief king of the zulu clan african kings by james c lewis get this book and read it that's the first and that's one of the earliest so you go to this uh script and read 
are a part of Zulu society traced to the reign of Pharaoh Kufa, Ukufa, or Kiops. And there is an explanation there of Mankanyezi near the Limpopo River who showed that he had other relatives right up to a river Nile there whom he had not met but whom they had seen in the spirit and they knew that and he said he is his brother not in flesh i call him my brother because he is an elder in the family the bantu family we are going to trace the original uh, ancestor of the bantu and say society to which i belong whose members are the guardians of the wisdom which comes from of old there are many of us one at least in every tribe and nation throughout this land we are of many ranks and from the learner to the master and to those higher ones whose names may not be spoken i am a common brother he of whom i speak is my elder so mankanyes tells us this and this Boers or, or Europeans moved up and saw and they met somebody there who also knew this story because of the issue that has been raised. It can get this wisdom which comes from old. And he said the brotherhood to which Makanyas and the others belong is called Bonabakulu Abasekem. The name may be tendered in English. This is the European now uh, writing about this. The author who is writing about this. You get this from this script. He said the name may be, of course, the Brotherhood of Ancient Ones of Ancient Egypt. The Brotherhood was founded in ancient Kemet in the reign of Pharaoh Kufa, so-called Kiops, its founder being a priest of Isis or Isisu. It has all it has its objects, the spreading of the wisdom which comes from old among all races and tribes in Africa, and the study and practice by its members of what we call Ukwazi Kwe Stabang which means the science which depends on the power of thought. The Zulu king Ashaka is the most popular modern uh, king and ruler and warrior. According to oral historian Senzo Maskwidi Mkanyiseni Mbata, as far as he knows, the first black person that we hear of is Du, the ancestor of all African Bantu uh, people. And then he goes on to explain the origin of the Zulu tribe. Lufenu Luencha of Ntu, through a further migration, they then separated into Amanguni and Abesutu. This is a diagram that we showed earlier. Abesutu were of the Mashweshwe, Amapedi, and Amatswana. Amanguni divided into five groups. Amanguni, Amabo, Amantunwa, Nguni, Amalala, Nguni, Amatebe, Nguni, and Amatonga. All these were the descendants of the sons of Nguni. A development of a new group of Amaswas emerged from Amambo. And Amantungwa, a group of Amazul emerged, and Amadebe, the emerged Amabata, while Amatonga remained a separate group. Amalala then gave birth to Mtetwa kingship group. The Amantungwa Nguni were led by Luzmane of Nguni. Then they came from those Central African countries. So the Zulu lineage orally, but a summarizes Ntu's lineage as follows. Ntu, Lufenu, Luencha, Mkuni, Gumete, Kwabe, Nguni, Luzmane, Malandela, Kwabe, and Zulu. Zulu's lineage can be noted as follows. Zulu Mpunga, Makeba, Ndaba, Jama, Senza Ngakona, and Sojisa. Senza Ngakona gave birth to Shaka, Songuni, Dingane, and Mpande. You can get this from this website. It is later from Shaka that we notably hear of the rise of the Zulu kingdom, as led by King Shaka, Ka Senza Ngakona. The Kosa, here are they. They go through many the Kosas. They go with the East Duko and also the Totems and many others. And they, out of the Kosa, we have had one scholar who wrote the popular song Kosi Sikelela Africa. His name is Enoch Zontonga in 1897. Kosa rituals and religious practice distinguished by elaborate and lengthy rituals, initiations, and feasts. Modern rituals typically pertain to matters of illness and psychological well being. The supreme being among Kosa is. Called Utiko or Umkamata. We go to the uh, Sutu now. There is the king of Sutu, the Moshoshe, Sotu Abe Sutu, Mashoshe, Amapedi. Their oral history is that they, all of them, they are, they, we have got the Damini, the Pedi were defeated in the 19th century. These are the Pedi, and also these are their, the, the sort of very lovely mountainous uh, region in southern Africa. 
Matulare, a daughter of the chief of Babokeng Nation and all the respected people was married to Chief Tabane of the Southern Bakaka, a branch of the Baruse, Wahuruse, who are one of the most ancient of the Sotoswana tribes. And both the founders of the five tribes were Pedi by Mopedi, Makolohwe by Kesi, Mamputing by Mobuthing and the letter Mzizi of Lamini connected to the present day Debele Bashokwa by Kwari and Bashia by Mosia. These were the first peoples to be called Basoto, that is Lesoto, before many of their descendants and other peoples came together from Moshoshes nation in the early 19th century. The Aman Debele, the popular king, King Mzulukas, is portrayed by Captain Williams Cornwallis Harris, 1836. And they are the Ndebeles. There are three main groups of Ndebele people. The southern Transvaal Ndebele now, Gauteng and Malanga. The northern Transvaal, now Limpopo province, around the towns of Makupane, Potikitas Ras, and Holohwane, Petersburg. The Ndebele people of Zimbabwe, who were called the Matebele by the British. The, the name Zilikaz means the Great Road. Was our, our king in uh, the Mtwakazi, Matebele in southern, in southern Rhodesia, or in Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. He was born in uh, near Mkuse around 1790. He was the son of Mashobana, who, had, who was one of the greatest military leaders after Shaka Zulu. And uh, David Livingstone refers to him as the greatest one. And uh, he is of the Kumalo, and uh, also they fought with the, uh, the Ndwandwe and the Swede Kalanga, who is my ancestor, the Ndwandwe. There we are. The Mtwetwa Paramount, sometimes referred to as Mtetwa of Mtetwa Empire, was a Southern African state that arose in uh, 18th century South Africa at Lagoa Bay and inland Eastern uh, Southern East uh, Africa. Mtetwa means the one who rules. Uh, from Muz Mtetwa, 1995, the Mtetwas are uh, descended from Nguni tribes of Northern Natal and Lubombo Mountains, whose modern identity dates back 700 years. They are among the first Tonga Nguni groups who left the Great Lakes. In Central Africa between 200 after a uh, common era and uh, 1200 common era so you can see there were lots of migrations you go there and you can see uh, the explanations of how they fought and they lost to Shaka the Zulu and then started to migrate northwards and found the Gaza Nkulu uh, Empire that stretches from Inkomati into Zimbabwe right up to uh, Malawi the Mpondo the popular Mpondo people uh, uh, is uh, Oliver Tambo and uh, Winima Digizela Mandela. These are the Mpondo. Uh, their tradition of Mpondo, that they are legendary descendant of Mpondo, the great son of CBC Day, who was the leader of the once powerful Mbo, Amambo. Uh, Mpondo are part of the Amambo group who migrated from Great Lakes, modern day South, into modern day South Africa. Having settled along all the way in uh, places like Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and uh, right up to uh, Swaziland. So, these are some of the major tribes we find in southern africa then there is a problem that is scholars want to create and they say now the uh, he is not bantu that's what they say we have been on earth maybe for nearly 3.5 million years we black people uh I, I i use black in quotation as a relative term not absolute term and they say therefore the bushman or the sun or the koi or all these other people are not Bantus. That is a lie. They are Bantus proper, true to the core. The Koena or Koi are not a distinct people and different from other Bantus. They are Bantus. 2,100 years ago, they inhabited the northwestern Kalahari and Limpopo, and they separated the ancestors of the Shua and the Hoa, distinct uh, people who were pastoral headers descended over 1,000 years from East Africa, crossed into the Limpopo. This website is thorough, clear and to the point visit it and read it and study it the sun people of bush i mean are pure people of african ancestry they have lighter skin and uh, they get a lot of sun they hold the oldest dna markers according to scientists today going nearly two hundred thousand years ago go to this uh stalker and uh, see and uh, read a lot about our people they gave birth as we migrated into Asia, these are the people that were destroyed and killed by the current Chinese that are coming to conquer Africa again for the second time. What has destroyed us as a people, our wars and disunity that are created by Afro-tribalistic uh, bloodbath tendencies. This weakened and stifled our innovation and unity. Much of today's tribalism arises from 
false apartheid and colonialist agenda too. 200 BCE to 1180 there were waves and waves of migrations from the north, east, west, south due to a Greek, Roman and Islamic destruction of Africa there was a southerly movement. A few years of calm between 1300 and 1600 were disturbed by colonization and enslavement and internal strife. And also the crushing Fakan and also all the Fakwane series of Zulu and other Nguni wars forced migrations of the second and third decades uh, in the 19th century. So you can see here a very critical and important map that we want to conclude with. This is where uh, Shaka, Zulu and the empire rose up very powerful. And uh, the Nguani the Nguani 1825. 1823, the Kololo turned back by the Greek war around Oyen, that's north of Orange Free State and Vau River, and then Debele were attacked by Africaners. They migrated right into Babwe now, and also the Kololo right there. And also, Zwangen moved 1834, moved up right into uh, Lake Malawi. So the Zulu Kingdom, you can see it there, a proper extent of the Zulu warfare and the groups. That fled from the Zulu, uh, the Gaza, where I come from, my ancestry, the Swazi, the Ngwane, the Kololo, the Jere, Ongoni, the Tlubi, the Ndewele, the Mfengu, and the Soto. And the new state established by these migrating groups are uh, the Gaza Empire, which I've spoken of, the Swazi, which is Swaziland today, the Ngwane Kingdom in Malawi, Hobulawayo, which is uh, the Bulawayo in South Africa and Bulawayo in Zimbabwe and the Soto, which is Lesotho uh, Kingdom. That's how you get the Squaz and Lesotho uh, Kingdoms. And uh, these are major battles involving migrating groups found in these uh, specific places. Very important and critical map, which is in the public arena. If you have got melanin or carbon, I also do have melanin and carbon. Then you are my brother and sister. Subscribe to Committee Hebrew Ethics. We are all people that came from the Blue and White Nile and Great Lakes region and migrated all over the earth in many waves. This is Priest Rabbi, LM Tumizulu. This is our email. Thank you. Uh, goodbye.